If you've been attracted to the work that we do, our work is very much based on what we would call higher conscious business basics. It's running a business, a soul-led, heart-centered business from a place of conscious awareness. We're not just running businesses and calling ourselves spiritual. There's actually ways in which you hold yourself, you hold your energy, and you work with clients, which is in a very different way than a lot of people do on the internet. It's very self-aware, it's very high frequency, and it um, really has a lot to do with the way in which um, your your energy is held with an integrity on you. When we say integrity, we do not mean like in the conscious mind of integrity, of doing the right thing even though nobody else is watching. We're talking about integrity from a place of um, how you hold your energy so that you're not really doing for someone else per se, but more from the place of allowing and holding that container and guiding them through a process. And even when you are using your own energetic skills, how can you use those energetic skills without actually doing something for someone else, which um, fosters a codependent healer coach relationship, which um, most people are trying to move out of if you're in this kind of spiritual community uh, and you're working on really becoming more conscious and more aware of your own energy and um, are really expanding on your own spiritual growth and evolution so we do combine these energetics of spiritual growth and spiritual evolution in intertwine it in money mindset so we talked a lot about this in our soul led workshop um, things like when you hear people say money is freedom money is success money is safety right that's a very um toe the line money mindset type of uh perception but from our perspective in a in a conscious energetic way when we look at the energy of all that and we look at the energy of money money is not any of those things Money does not provide you protection. Money does not provide you safety. Money does not provide you success. All of those things are created from within and within you. You hold the power. Money does not hold the power. And learning that perception that those little energetic shifts which makes us a little different from like kind of like the mainstream money. I mean, if you want to believe that money is protection, by all means, go ahead um, and feel free. Um, we just hold a higher frequency for the way that we perceive money. Now, does money give you protection and safety? I mean, is that something that you experience in your outer world? Absolutely. Yeah, it does. Right. And it also gives you influence to some degree. But the reason why it does that is not because it's money. It does that because you are opening and receiving more of your own soul light, more of your soul energy. And because of that, the reflection that is coming back to you is showing up in money, which only heightens your intentions of what you're holding internally on your divine line. So that's a little snippet from Wednesday's call. You should really get that program um, if you are you know, into those energetics of integrity and spiritual growth, evolution, and really just kind of getting your mindset around money strained out, right? Because it's a very dangerous perception of giving your power away to things like money, right? Because when you do that and money doesn't show up, when you associate things like money to power and to success, and when you do that energetically and then the money does not show up, well, now you don't have power and now you don't have success and you're feeling very uh, and attracting very uh, powerless situations as well as unsuccessful ones, not because that you're unsuccessful or powerless, but because you gave those energetic components to money and now money's not showing up for you and neither are those other things as well. Remember, we use the outer world to just monitor what's happening in our inner world. But when we give responsibility and power to things that are outside of ourselves, like money, then when the money doesn't show up, neither does the other things that you were you were not holding internally. And then that becomes the reflection of powerlessness and a lack of success.